doubters over the years whether a team led by Jordan could win a championship. Jordan is such a great winner, such a great competitor, and won it so badly. In the early stages, he took maybe too much upon himself. They are celebrating in Chicago as the Bulls take the Lakers in five. Michael Jordan is the unanimous MVP. He got all 11 votes. What does it mean to you? It's the most proud day I've ever had. I would, if, we, if I never got here, I would never been disappointed by my career, but you know, it capped it off. You know, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to the city. I'm just happy that I was able to be a part of, of history in the city of Chicago. After 25 years, the Bulls are NBA champions. The shoe, the shoe, the shoe. Yo, what's happening everybody? It's your boy DJ. It's your boy AJ. And you already know, we're the DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, as you've seen plenty of times before, we like to do sneaker reviews, compare and break down the styles, the cuts, the years, the materials, every single thing about a single shoe and give you the best information possible. And today, we have the Infrared 6. It's like a fresh pair of tennis shoes. It's like a fresh pair of tennis shoes. We got what, six pairs, five yeah, pairs? Yeah, five pairs. And there's Crazy. six total pairs. The original we don't have, small disclaimer. Yep. Never purchased that shoe just because it's so freaking old, 1991. It'll crumble. It's gonna crumble and it's pointless to have in the collection. Yeah. So I figured it's best to have these. 2010 pair came with, it was a pack, so it came with the white, the pair white joint. Well. And that well. was leather. That was leather on yep. the white pair. Cool. Imagine they did a white suede on that. That'd be nasty. That would be weird. It gets so dirty quick. I couldn't even imagine something like that. Yeah. Okay. First impressions. What you got? What you thinking? Of the new one? Just, well, yeah. Let's In go general, just one. looking at the table? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My first impression is that, man, I miss my pair. That Nike here on the back, bro, you can't go wrong with that. I love my 2000 pair. I just couldn't wear it anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like the more I wore it, I'm just like, man, I'm devaluing this shoe so much. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can't really rock it like I want to because I feel right. like it's going to fall like, apart. How many times it. have you worn yours? Or I've have never you? worn these yeah. before. I was See? saying before, like I've been through three pairs and this specific pair had never been worn. Out of all the shoes I ever had, the Infrared 6 is my favorite shoe. Right. So I was like, I'm willing to sacrifice the little bit of money that I spent back in the day to get these yeah. and know that they're just going to go in the vault forever because it's a part of my collection and I can't get rid of them. I mean, the new pair looks pretty similar to the pair that came out last. This pair came out when, 2016? This was 2014. 14, okay. Yeah. It seems like it was yesterday, right? Yeah. It seems like they just That's crazy. came out. But yeah, they're really, really similar. There are some differences, but I mean, overall, like you're not really gonna be able to tell the difference besides the Nike Air. Yeah. I think the ankle is the biggest thing for me. Yeah. On this side right here, which we'll see more in the in-depth review of the shoe, but I think the ankle is definitely a seller for me. I just, I don't like how it's so smooth. I'm not a fan of that. I need that definition in the side of the foot. Yeah. So let's get into a uh, in-depth comparison between all the shoes so you guys can see the differences and then we'll be right back at you. The Infrared 6, boy, 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 this thing is fire. So let's go ahead and start with the basics. This thing releases February 16th, that's a Saturday, retail $200. Should be available at most local retailers and on sneakers app if you don't know about that. So today I wanna talk about a couple different shoes. We don't have the original, but we have every other release that's came out over the past 20 years or so. We're gonna go with the 2014, the 2010, the other 2010, and then the 2000 retro. Now with that, we're gonna show you a couple differences between the materials and the cuts of the shoe. So let's start with the first one. Here's a look at the 2019 and here's a look at the 2014. Now you can see the difference in the cut a little bit on the toe. It's a little bit less boxy on the toe, you would say. And there's a lot more definition in the ankle. We have 3M on the holes on the inside of each shoe, which is dope, but you can definitely tell the difference on the size of the holes and the placement on the shoe. Now let's go to the 2010 infrared pack. So obviously you can tell the materials are extremely different and the outsole has a different hue to it. It's more yellow of a vibe because it was a clear outsole and not the blue tint outsoles that they have been doing recently. Other than that, with the materials and the color, 
I think that the 2010 is a little bit nicer. I think overall, it's just missing that Nike Air. That's up for you to decide. Leave a comment down below on how you feel about this compared to the 2010. Okay, now let's take it to the other 2010 release. This is the Bread 6, not the Infrared 6. So they made the red in a bread colorway. And the upper is pretty similar to the infrared pack that released in 2010 as well. It's also thick suede compared to the new buck that was on the original six. So it's kind of a different vibe, but very, very similar in shoe. Which one do you guys like more? Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Okay, now to the biggest comparison of all. This is the one that everybody's been asking for. The 2000 infrared six with the Nike Air, and then you have the 2019 infrared six. Now you can tell the difference between the two in the shape just off rip. You can see that the 2000 infrared six is a lot higher cut around the lace holes compared to the new one, it's more sleek. It's a little bit more boxy on the toe on the 2000 pair, I guess you could say, but it's a shorter toe, if that makes any sense to you. So look at the comparison between the two. Obviously, I love OG vibes. This one did not have the 3M in it. The OG 1991 pair did have a 3M in it. And I think that's a great hit for the new 2019 pair. Should we give away a pair of these infrared sixes in our next raffle? No! Well, I guess Spike Lee says no, so we won't. All right, let's take it to the heel of the shoe. I'm gonna keep the left foot the same and I'm gonna switch the right foot throughout so you can see the differences between the shoe. Coming in first, now I wanna show you the difference between the heel on the 2014 pair. If you look at the bubbles, on the ankle, you can see how much more slim they are. And that's a fact of the shoe that I really, really do not like. I think it's kind of like a cheesy, kind of dumbed down, more stiff version. And a lot of people weren't really impressed with the 2014 infrared. And I think this one will definitely blow that one out the water. Now let's go to the 2010 retro and the other bread retro. They look very, very similar. So we'll just talk about the infrared retro. This one, obviously, you can tell the difference between the heel on the Jumpman and the Nike Air. But besides from that, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the materials are obviously different, but the shape and the form of the shoe, pretty similar. Now, this is the one that everybody's been waiting for, right? Nike Air versus Nike Air. So if you look at the material on the back of the Infrared 6, it's always had that kind of waxy, kind of new butt vibe to it. And this one doesn't really have it on the 2019 compared to that OG kind of classic vibe. So I think that's one takeaway. Besides from that, the shape and the form, obviously the Nike Air is a little bit bigger on the new pair, but I think I think they did a good job on replicating it. Here is a look at the new infrared and the old infrared. And then this is the pack infrared and the old infrared. So you can tell the pack infrared is a little bit closer to the old infrared. Okay, now I wanna take it into the sole real quick, just show you guys a couple differences. It's all basically pretty much the same, just time and age has made the yellowing happen. So there's nothing really too much to show you guys here on the soles. Now, if you look on the pull tabs, you see this one has Nike and a Jumpman. This actually has never been done before on any of the retros from 2000 to now. Here's a look at the, all the shoes from 2000 to 2019. Which pair is your favorite? Please leave us a comment down below. You already know what to do. With that being said, it's my time to go. So let's kick it back to the boys and finish off this video. All right, so we just showed you guys the differences between all the pairs. So what is your opinions on the new pair? That's my question. How do you feel about them? What you thinking? I'm, I'm in love with them. Obviously, I love this shoe, but I think that these really do a good job, you know, replicating the 2000 pair. Mm -hmm. They're never gonna match the infrared. That's just, I don't think it's ever gonna happen again. It's always gonna be too pink, too bright. Uh, that's a, I guess you could say it's a little bit more breadish looking now compared to these. Yeah. And I think another thing that takes away from that is the outsole, with it being so blue, it kind of makes this pop even more. Right. So that might be a deciding factor on it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is a cop for sure. I need two pair. Give me two pair. <laughs> like I need two pair of these things for sure in my life. Oh, we. Yeah. I, I definitely think they're a cop for sure. This is a classic shoe. You can't go wrong with any of these. Um, got the pack, got these joints, and I'll definitely be getting these. I don't know if I'll double up on them because at this rate, it's looking like I can get another pair next year because they'll probably come out again. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think they're super clean and I love the hits of Nike Air. You know, that's a classic look. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest. The market doesn't care about Nike Air anymore. Right. Let's be let's That's be what they were honest. asking for four um, or five years ago. Yeah, right now, like five like... years ago, four years ago, this yeah. would have been super dope. People yeah. would have been going crazy, but the Nike Air really doesn't mean anything anymore and it's been watered down. Mm. But that's totally fine. I think it's a dope hit still. How do you feel about the bread? 
I love the bread. I thought it was dope. And then, uh, you know, Ye and and Jay Z during that whole era of yeah, they um, made it famous for sure. Uh, Watch the Throne, yeah. like that shoe right there. Once Ye put that on, that shoe automatically shot up in price like crazy. Um, man. Um, and you know crazy. we we continue to talk about price. That's like a, a very very important part of the market of just sneaker collecting in general is sure. understanding what makes the price go up. And Kanye West was that person. So he brought these out. The he had the ones. black, the bread ones and the Aqua black eights. cement threes. Aqua eight, like he hooped in a pair of Aqua right. eights and they went up. So, <laughs> so this weird. this shoe right there kind of reminds me of that whole era. I had a couple pairs of these. Right. Um, See, I got my wares in mine. Yeah, and I have, <laughs> I still have one more pair left. But yeah, these were definitely a go-to. And then this is one of those shoes like the playoff eights where you can just rock them, rock them, rock them, right. clean them up, and they look still really cool. good. Yep. I still think that this shoe is going to have a solid value. Remember that this one came out, and it was selling for a little bit, and then it kind of went up to like the 350 range. Some people was getting more for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think with the Nike Air, though, I think the value should be pretty solid on these. Yeah, hopefully. Let me know what you guys would you know, do with the shoe, what, what kind of fit you would rock with it. If you're going to cop it, comment that down in the comment section because Man, we're very interested in this topic and what you guys think is the best. If we missed anything, uh, we know you guys always got some good fun facts for us. So hit us with some fun <laughs> facts in the comment section because y'all just love talking. And I love hearing it and seeing what you got to say. But these definitely, if it wasn't for these, I would, mm, I'll probably go with these first. What you mean? Like if I couldn't, if these never came out and these were the only options, I'll probably take the bread six first and then I would go with these second. The infrared, just because yeah. it's more like a pink vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I just I don't know. I got some great memories in the bread sixes. Most definitely. So I don't know. What would you do? Like, oh, if you didn't man. have these and you can only get these four. That's a great question, bro. If there was no such thing as a legacy of the infrared. Right. If the infrared wasn't a thing, uh, I'd probably go with bread. Yeah, I would be bread all day. That's why I was thinking like I just end them. And that's, yeah, we talked about this with somebody else. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll try to get some better shots too as well. But this is very thick. It's nice. It's it's a lot better than these. They're more flimsy and thin. Obviously, it's like two different types of materials. But when you wear this shoe, it's more comfortable. It's more soft. It's not as stiff. Like this version is a lot more stiff on the foot. So I think that's probably another reason why. And I don't know if that has to do with the midsole and outsole as well. But I know the top materials on the top part of the foot feel a lot more comfortable on the bread six. Well, let us know if you guys are coughing, like, please comment for us. Let us know what you're thinking and subscribe, man. Subscribers been kind of going up a little bit. Yeah, it's going up. We'll have some 5K coming We'll have next. some more stuff for you guys coming soon. You already know what's up. Some more heat dropping. All right, y'all. We got to go. Yeah. Let us know what y'all think in the comments. We'll see y'all later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to the subscribe button because that will give you notifications for when we post a new video. Now we can leave because he's trying to go. I'm trying to go. <laughs>